welcome to Church at Home. I'm Gary, and I'm so excited to be here with you and your whole family. Do any of you have pets that are joining you today? It sounds like some of you have some dogs watching with you. All right, that's awesome. In fact, that makes me wonder, if you dressed up like a dog, what kind of dog would you be? Okay, all right. I bet some of you would dress up like a golden retriever. Maybe others would dress up like a Dalmatian. I think if I dressed up like a dog, I'd dress up like a poodle. Yeah, poodles just make me happy. And that reminds me of today's point. When I feel happy, I'll praise God out loud. Now, let's jump into Connect. Here's Jake. I'll be honest. I used to get kind of nervous about singing and dancing in front of my friends. But then I started thinking about how awesome God is and how he's done so many good things for me. I realized no matter how nervous I feel, God still deserves to be worshiped. So now I sing and dance to worship God whenever I get the chance. And those nervous feelings aren't such a big deal anymore. You can too. Get up on your feet and let's connect to God together.
right now because I got something to say and it will be heard. I made up my mind, not afraid to show. That's right, gonna leave the past behind, gonna let the whole world know. where it's all going down. Hey, Chuck. Uh, Mike, this is local businessman Chuck Forte. We met. What's up, Chuck? Fellas. So this is the big day, where we decide if Dot is the thief who's been stealing things around town. Oh, this is not a trial hearing. This is just a uh, disciplinary hearing to decide if Dot stole my piggy bank or not. But surely, if she stole your piggy bank, she stole the other things around town, too. Well, that's not for us to decide. If you don't mind me asking, how did you hear about the hearing? Dot invited me. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is how I found true happiness. I'm so glad you're here for this. I was thinking back to the day when all of this happened and you stopped by to warn us about the thief. Yep. So when they decide that I'm not guilty, I want you to go around town and tell everyone it wasn't me. Help me clear my name. Well, let's just see how it goes first. 
I'll be so happy when it's over. I want to feel happy again. I want to dance in the streets like David did. Like who? David, you know, from the Bible. I'm not familiar. Here, I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Is alive. A long time ago, there was a box called the Ark of the Covenant. It was a holy box that contained items that reminded people of God's faithfulness to them. God's power surrounded this box. Moving it from one place to another required extreme care. King David decided to move the Ark to Jerusalem so that he could keep it safe. He gathered 30,000 of Israel's best men to move it. They loaded the ark on a cart and pushed it all the way to Jerusalem. While they moved the ark, David and the men celebrated with all their might. As they traveled, they made a joyful noise to the Lord with all kinds of noisemakers. As they brought the ark into the city of David, the streets were filled with shouts and the sound of trumpets. King David was so excited about the ark's arrival in his city that he was dancing in the streets in his underwear. His wife, Michael, saw this from a window and was unhappy with David's leaping and dancing before the Lord. David put the ark of the covenant in the place he had designated for it and went home. When he got there, Michael was waiting for him. She was disappointed and angry. She told David that the king of Israel should know better than to dance around in the streets in his underwear. But David was not embarrassed. He told her that he was dancing for the Lord. He said it didn't matter what he was wearing. He would celebrate and be happy before the Lord. He didn't care what anybody said or what other people thought. King David was so happy that he couldn't contain it. He had to dance and celebrate all the Lord had done for him and his people. See, David had something big he wanted to celebrate. He wanted to dance and praise the Lord so that everyone could see. He was pretty happy to have that Ark of the Lord back in his city. That's how happy I'll be if everyone believes me today that I didn't see Luke's piggy bank. I'll be dancing and praising like crazy. What if you don't win? What if they still think you're guilty? I'll be disappointed, but I'm sure I'll find some way to be happy. It's weird to think this is all because of a little old piggy bank. It just seems silly. Yeah, I'm just glad the thief didn't steal the golden tablet. Golden tablet? Inside this tablet is a golden processor. It's what keeps this link console running. If you crack this baby open, you'd find nothing but gold parts. Oh, well, it's a good thing you keep it in a safe place. Are you kidding me? It's right out here in the open. But we can't hide it because it keeps everything coming. Hey, it's almost time to start. We should get upstairs. I'll uh, meet you upstairs. Could you point me to the nearest restroom? Oh, it's right down the hall. See you in a sec. Don't move. Stay right there. Hey. 
Hey, can I see that for a second? Yeah, sure. I need you to do me a huge favor. Keep an eye on this. Okie dokie, and good luck in there. Don't worry. I think a good thing is gonna happen here today. Okay, Dot. Let's get started. Yes, Captain. Disciplinary hearing 343 for Dorothy or Dot regarding the missing piggy bank or Mr. Piggle Giggle. Let the record show that Dot was on time and willing to cooperate. Maybe it'll give you some brownie points. Brownies? There are brownies? Please continue. Dot, did you or did you not steal the piggy bank? I did not. Okay, well if you didn't, who did? I had some time to think about this. I went over that day over and over again, and then it hit me. There was another person in the building that day who knew Luke was moving his piggy bank. There was? Yep, and any minute now he's about to walk through that door. No, not, not that door. That door oh. on the tablet. What is this? A live stream of the hub. Watch the door. Well, I'll be doggone. Stop! What? Thieving dog. Don't let him get away. <laughs> Let's see who's been behind all these robberies. Local, Local businessman business Chuck Forte. He not only stole Luke's piggy bank, but he put a piece of the bank in front of my locker so it would look like I did it. Is this true? Yeah, and I'd have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for your blasted adults and your dot. But why? The first time I stole something, I liked it. It made me feel happy. So I did it again and again. But the happiness didn't last. And I needed more and more. It just got worse and worse. Chuck, I hope you find that true happiness comes from God. It's more than enough. Now come on, Chuck. Let's go call the police together. Wow, looks like you're free. I knew you didn't do it, Dot. Boom, everyone knows I'm not guilty. Thank the Lord. When I feel happy, I'll praise God out loud. When I feel happy, I'll praise God out loud. Here comes the happy dance. You don't think we should let her dance alone? Nope. I think you deserve this. Thanks. So, how did you know it was Chuck? I didn't know for sure, but I figured I could catch him in the act. I just needed some bait. Which was? I told him the tablet attached to the link console was worth a lot of money. But it's not. You know that, and I know that, but he didn't know that. I sure missed having you around here. And for what it's worth, I am so sorry that I ever doubted your innocence, even for a second. Good call catching the real criminal. Thanks, big guy. It makes me happy to hear that. Todd, you cannot enter a room like that. What's up with the megaphone? Headed to the roof to sing some praises and announce to the city that we caught the real criminal. We got him, we got him, oh happy day! Well Dot, I know that you're happy, but whenever you're sharing your joy, make sure that you're sharing how good God is and not how great you are and how good you have it. Is everything okay with Chuck? Could you maybe chill? Oh, yeah. Copy that. Well, the police found all the things that were missing around town in his pet shop, so he's in big trouble. That's too bad. He was nice when he wasn't stealing things and blaming it on me. How are you? Brimming with happiness, but I can feel that jolt starting to wear off. My dancing is slowly turning into slumping. Well, that's likely to happen when you get a sudden burst of happiness. It always wears off. You know what might help? Sugar? <laughs> no. I was thinking about sharing this message that we just got from the Skip Vision group with you. Hello. 
Hello, Rodney. Oh, man, I was enjoying the taste of that sweet, sweet ice cream. Don't worry, I know exactly how to cheer you up. Do you have another scoop of ice cream in your pocket or something? Step one, be thankful for what you still have. You still have that super yummy cone to enjoy, right? Yeah, I guess. Good, then let's thank God for what we have. Thank him for the cone. Step two, allow me to encourage you. You, Rodney, are a super great friend. Oh, that makes me feel better. Step three, big high fives all around. All right. Oh, your hands are really sticky. Yeah, sorry, I was eating ice cream. Do you feel happier? I do. How did you do that? Are you familiar with a little verse from the book of James, chapter five, verse 13? No, can you remind me? Yeah, sure. Say it with me like this. James 5.13. James 5.13. Are any of you happy? Are any of you happy? Then you should sing praises. Then you should sing praises. And we don't have to just sing our praises. We can praise God out loud with singing, dancing, encouragement, even high fives. Share your happiness with others. Wow. Thanks for sharing your happiness with me. Anytime, buddy. Oh. I have got to quit doing that. I was only focused on how great it feels to have my life back. I completely missed out on sharing that happiness with others. Wait, I just got a great idea! The hut, it has been a very long day. Sorry. Okay, I have a really nice watch. Mr. Norris from Patsy's Diner reported one missing. Oh yeah, that's that place over there on Main and 3rd, right over there in the corner. Got it. I still can't believe the police let us have all this stuff. I promised them I would get it back to where it belonged. Oh, Dot, I'll help you with that, and I will also help you return these stolen items to their rightful owners. Are you sure? Yeah, I'd love to share some happiness. Great. I just have one thing to do, and then we'll head out. Dot, it's really nice of you to be thinking about other people. You reminded me to serve others when I'm happy. When you're happy and you know it, share with friends. Hi, my name is Dot, and I'm glad to be back at Connect HQ. I learned a lot about happiness, and I wanted to share this with you. The Bible tells us this in the book of James. Say with me like this, James 5.13, are any of you happy? You should sing praises. If you're feeling happy, you should thank God out loud for all of the great things that he has done. Your happiness will be contagious. A man named David from the Bible was so happy that the ark of the Lord was coming safely to his city that he danced like a crazy person. He didn't hold back. He danced and praised the Lord so that everyone could see and hear. Sometimes we're happy because something happens that we waited for, or something good happens that you weren't expecting. But that happy feeling only lasts for a little while. Counting on good things to happen to keep you happy won't ever be enough. Real happiness comes from God. When you are friends with Jesus, you can trust in His good plan. Through good and bad, you'll be happy to know that God is in control. And if you're happy and you know it, sing it out. Share that happiness with others. When I feel happy, I'll praise God out loud. I hope you see God's happiness today, and remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. One, two, three, eyes on me. You don't need a megaphone to shout out praises to God, but it helps. Real happiness comes from being friends with God. Trusting God's plan for your life gives you a happiness that you can count on if things are good or things are bad. Do you know what the happiness of knowing God feels like? If you've never decided to follow Jesus with your life, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your Connect Small Group leader before you leave.
Jesus is with us through it all, the good, the bad, and the ugly. If you wanna make the choice to follow him, talk to a parent or a leader you trust. They'll be so excited to pray with you and celebrate with you. Choosing life with Jesus is the best decision you can ever make. It's beyond happy, it's like super happy. Now, when you're filled with all that happiness, what are you gonna do with all that happy? Give it to Jesus. Let's say today's verse about that. James 5.13, are any of you happy? You should sing praises. That verse reminds us to shout praises to God. It's almost like celebrating a friend's birthday. In fact, I think it's Frank's birthday. Oh, hey there, Frank. Well, Frank, your, your birthday hat, it's, well, it's really boring. Do you mind if I see it for a sec? Give me a minute. This is not the way to celebrate a birthday. Let's give Frank a present by decorating his hat for him. You can help me out by remembering today's verse. Every time we fill in a word, we'll add a decoration to Frank's hat. To make it a little bit easier, I'll give you one of the words. Happy. Cool. We've already added some bright yellow gems. Let's get some more decorations on there. Hmm, what could that first word be? Friends, do you know? Whoa, we got it! The first word is R. And now our hat has some yellow and red gems on it. Let's see what else we can add. So far, we have R, then three spaces, then happy. What are the three words that go between R and happy? I think I remember this. Do you? Good memory. Let's fill in any of you. Whoa, way to go. We have the first half of the verse. Are any of you happy? And we have some stars added to our hat and those stars, they really pop. Let's see if we can finish it up. I'll go ahead and give you the next two words. You should. Dinosaurs, yes! It's like a Jurassic Park disco party all over that hat. I feel like it needs one final touch, a fun topper. I bet we'll need to finish the verse to get that on our hat. Do you know how the verse ends? You're right. It's sing praises. We got it. This hat looks so good. Let's give it to Frank. Hey, look, Frank. We got this hat for you. Happy birthday. This hat is good. And this hat, it can help us remember today's point. When I feel happy, I'll praise God out loud. I think this calls for a short dance party. What do you think, Frank? Did you know you can find even more reasons to feel happy and praise God when you read the Bible? Every day, the kids' Bible experience will have something new for you in the YouVersion Bible app. Go check it out after you talk about the questions I've got for your family. You'll get to talk about things that make you feel happy and think about what you can do when things around you go badly. Stay tuned for the cues, and I'll see you guys later.